is kind of my cleaning setup here. What we've got for heating our water up. An old coffee pot. I'll put some of that in there. Get that a percolating. That's just an excellent noise, huh? Alright, while that's heating up, we'll kind of get our gun apart, and what we're going to do is push that barrel wedge out a bit. Okay, and that comes out. Set our trigger down here so we can bring our gun to the half cock position. The barrel's already starting to come out of me, so let's set the barrel out. Set our wood out of harm's way. Well, there's certainly a lot of different ways to go about cleaning black powder guns. This is just the method that I use. I'm not saying it's, it's the best, but it seems like it works for me. I want to talk about hot water, I suppose, if my wife ever finds out I'm using a toothbrush to clean this thing off. It's going to not go well with me. Basically, here we're going to just Scrub down that area around the nipple. Pretty good first. Get that in there. Drop our gun in the, in the works. And sometimes what I'll do if I got a lot of water left over, I'll just run some down the barrel. I'm going to find a cleaning patch that. Uh, it's pretty well. Wet that down. I've had these things get stuck in the bottom sometimes, and you got a special, special jag with kind of a wire on the end of it that'll hook them, bring them back out again. I'll show you what the first patch looks like here. Now we haven't cleaned this between shots. We shot uh, what? Um, well over a dozen anyway, 14 or 15, and there's that first one. That's what I kind of like about the black MZ. You don't seem to get that carbon build up that you do with uh, with the regular stuff, and I got no problem in using the regular stuff either. Shot plenty of that, but um, I want to get out on the range and do some shooting and don't want to spend much time cleaning. It seems to work out pretty well. We got that water just about where we want it. Barrel's nice and warm. Okay, we're gonna tip that, tip that up. I'm gonna run some dry patches in there next. Run the first one in. comes out. And the second one down it. I found out it works pretty well for a jag as I just made a as long as you got enough patching on there it seems to work. I just made a little uh, round section here out of brass and that's larger than the cleaning rod and what it'll do is it'll go in there and then if you got enough um, of a patch there it'll catch on this. I could actually use a little larger one on this one. Let's see what that does. It'll happen every now and then we'll get stuck down there but well that's actually our second dry second dry patch. We'll take a third one down. I'm kind of lucky I've got an air compressor handy, so...
like around the layer in there just to kind of I did notice a little bit of blow out there that pad and breach had a little moisture, a little water down in that section. I'll run one more patch down there just to keep that barrel, which I'm not doing right now, if you can keep that barrel up, you know, like this, it's a better deal. As far as water running out goes. Alright, well, once that's pretty well dried out, then you can find a oily patch that I kind of keep up there and add a little more on it. Not that I'm skimpy with the oil or anything, but I don't care to have big gobs of it down in there to cause the next shooting session to go south because because we forgot to snap a cap in there or something. Okay, I'll take that patch and wipe the barrel off with it. Some oil on that. The neat thing about these guns that you can remove the barrel from is that you don't beat the crap out of your wood when you're going through this process. I'm getting it wet and I think we're a lot fussier nowadays than the folks years ago were as far as our guns, gun value and things goes. Okay, that's pretty well done there and now we'll take our wood part with a lock on it and we've got that already back so there's a section in here on that um, half of the patent breech that that'll tend to get some falling on it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be careful with the toothbrush and just wipe that back kind of keep the moisture out of the out of the wood and out of the action I'll tend to want to put some also in the. Not sure that's set or not. Yeah, it is. Didn't have it all the way back. Had it on the halfway mark. I'm going to run some down inside that spot on the hammer where it hits the percussion cap. And once we do that, we're going to just put some kind of a rag down in there and. Dry that out a bit, and the same on that. Part there. That looks pretty decent. And we'll give it the oil rag treatment. Now normally if I was going to put this gun away for a longer period of time rather than just a few days, I'd probably pull a lock out and just kind of go through that a little bit. Oil that up. Okay, so that being done. Barrel back in. If we got our wedge. And she's done. 